this video, we'll go over enhanced recurring donations in MPSP, and today we'll go over two different examples. The first one will be for a new donor. So if you do not see recurring donations up at the top, you might want to check under more and it should appear there. So we'll navigate to that page. And again, for the first sample, we're going to do a new donation. So the donor type, you can choose contact or account. For this example, we're going to keep it at contact. And we're going to use a sample. The date established will leave us today. For the donation information, they would like to give $50 a month for the rest of the year. So under the recurring type, we're going to choose fixed. Number of plan installments, they would like to start in March. So we're going to say 10 and they will be charged on a monthly basis. The day of the month, they wanna be charged on the last day. So we'll go ahead and choose that. The effective date, again, they don't wanna pay in February, so we'll go ahead and move it to March 1st. And the payment method they would like to use is credit card. Under other information, recurring donation name, that can actually be automated if you would like to make it easier to have a uniform name across the organization. But for right now, we can just use a sample title. And you can also connect it to a campaign if you would like to. We'll go over some of the new features on the screen. At the top, you have a highlight section, and we can customize what appears here if you would like something else. Um, and up at the top, you have some new buttons. You can close the donation here, and when you choose that, you have a new field, status reason. So again, they have some examples here, but we can customize that if you have some others in mind, along with the end date. You can pause, edit, clone, delete, or change owner. You have the quick links here. If we go down some of the new options, uh, there's a new component here on the right called the active schedules. So that just shows what you have set up with the donor now. And it's a future because it does not start until March 1st. So here's the information that we've put in. If we go down a little bit, the next um, new component is called upcoming installments. So you can see here all of the payments that are upcoming and we have an end date of 1231. So that is the last one there. I believe the limit right now is 12, but that can be changed if you want to see more. So if we go back up under the details here, um, everything should be very similar until we get down to Again, the recurring type, I believe, is new. And we have under other information. Again, the donation name can be automated. We can connect it to a campaign. The status field is new, so we can change that as well, and that has customizable uh, pick list options. And then there's a reason uh, for those different options if you would like to be able to track that. Uh, statistics section is new. So you have four new fields here. We'll go back up. We can click on the related tab. And here you can see the opportunity that is automatically created. Keep in mind, um, with the legacy recurring donation system, it would create um, 12 different opportunities automatically. Uh, but with this um, enhanced recurring donations, it will only um, create the next opportunity. So the reason why they did that is because they added this new component that does show you um, the 12 upcoming if you do want to see those. Um, but for now, they do not auto create all 12 opportunities at once. So you can see them uh, here as they come up. And we can also automate um, the way that the opportunity is named, if you have a convention for that as well. You can see we have a section for GAU allocations, so you'll be able to assign uh, by percentage or amount there as well. Notes and attachments, 
and you can see the history of the donation here with new and original values.